along with the art teacher is a version that I've adapted that we all know as adults paint, paint along with a twist. Now, as an adult, I can go and most, usually I can create something I'm going to hang on my wall for the price point that they usually charge, $35 to $40. But as a parent, I wasn't really interested in paying that much for my child to go and participate. Therefore, I came up with this program that I know, because I teach children, I am the art teacher, that I was gonna be successful at taking something that looked more difficult, breaking it down into simple shapes and simple steps for them to be more successful. I also use supplies that are very affordable for this program. So I'm not going to make them paint on 11 by 14 canvas. We stick to only eight by 10 canvases. So if you're making a collection of different paint alongs, um, the size that I use is just an eight by 10. So I also use a technique with chalk that helps us draw these shapes. And if they aren't successful, it's easily to be wiped off. So I feel like the way I've set it up, the kids feel very comfortable because we do the same um, techniques and procedures each paint along, just what we're painting changes. I also make videos beforehand of all the painting steps. So I have created the videos. I've already walked myself through it and worked through all the kinks um, before presenting it to the students. So that's helped me kind of break it down and know which what, which techniques work better, um, which ones the kids will be more successful out. And it's able, the video allows me to play the video. And as the video plays and we do something called play, pause, repeat, and I pause it and I can rotate around, not having to worry about um, me finishing my um, painting. Setting up, I usually have it set up like an art studio so the students feel that it is a little bit different than my classroom projects. Um, I have tabletop easels that we use. I only set up for 15 students so it's a smaller class. So that makes them feel a little special that they got this spot that they were able to get they're able to come in after school with me. They're using an easel we don't use in my classroom. We're using acrylic paint we don't use in my classroom. We're using all these different um, materials that they don't normally use within my classroom. So it makes them feel very special. Um, I do try to market this that works for my parents at our school. Um, I usually use a sign up link through Google Forms. That way, those who get the form and can send, I for, send a form home. Um, and I also open a link. So there's two ways to sign up through the paper, turning it back into me or through the Google Form link. Uh, it gives the opportunity for those families who don't have internet access to also sign up because I only have 15 spots per a date. Um, I use our social media platforms and our other communication platforms through our school to show parents the dates before the school year begins. I pick the date so they know in advance what paintings, who, what grades are painting, um, when the dates are so they can plan it throughout their school year. Collecting money is a big challenge for schools. So I try to um, make sure my parents know don't send money in until you've heard from me. So saying you congratulations, you have earned a spot to our paint along. Um, and then I have an envelope they send it in specifically with their name and everything. So when the envelope makes it to me, I know who is it from, what date they signed up, and all the other details. I'm going to show you a few examples of what um, I've been working on. So I have a surfboard paint along that I have created. Um, we have a small fox, alligator, go tigers, zebra, shark, shark week, and a football. So you can see the limited palette colors are um, a great way for me to get a paint along done and get it the prep done and ready for it because the more paint colors I have, the harder it is to prep. So as I pick out different um, paint alongs, I try to look at the drawing of it, the difficulty of it, what grades could work on this paint along. Um, as I worked out the kinks, do I feel like it was something third through five can handle or do I think something K through two could handle? So that's a great point is why I work out and do these on a video so I know um, what the problems that I may um, hit during our process. So paint along with art teacher, it's a great fundraiser. It allows me to buy new stools, new chairs, liquid watercolors, things that I know that are not on my um, warehouse order. I've even been able to buy a printer for my classroom, which was a big plus. So the support from families, instead of knocking on the doors, begging for money, um, Paint Along with the Art Teacher is the fundraiser program that I use to classroom so I can um, get the quality materials I think my students deserve. So I hope this gives you a little background of Paint Along with the Art Teacher, and I hope you check out which ones I'm going to be putting out this school year and join in and on the fun.